In this illustration, we intend to calculate the deflection of the model using the Abacus software and analytical solution. As you observe in the picture, the model includes link AB, link CD, and bar BDE. And these bars have been connected together with pins. The length of link AB is equal to 0 0.3 meters. The length of link CD is equal to 0 0.4 meters. The length of link BDE is equal to 0 0.6 meters. Link AB is made of aluminum and link CD is made of steel. Bar BDE is modeled in rigid form. The simulation of this problem is aimed at calculating the deflection of points B, D, and E using the Abacus software and analytical solution and then comparing the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of the analytical solution. Actually, this problem has been selected from the Mechanics of Materials book. And you can observe that here. As you observe in this problem, a force of 30 kilo uh, newton is applied uh, to point E. As mentioned in the book, the purpose is to calculate the deflection of points B, D, and E. This problem has been solved in the manner of the analytical solution, and we intend to simulate that in the Alcas software as well as then compare the results of the Abacus software with those of analytical solution. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of link AB. I select the modeling space as 3D. From here, select deformable wire and planner. Enter approximate size equal to 1000 and continue. I will draw a vertical line. The height of link AB is equal to 0 0.3 meters, so I'll enter its length equal to 300 millimeters. Done. I will enter property module. Click on create material. Here I intend to define the properties of aluminum. I click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. Here the Young modulus of aluminum is equal to 70 gigapascal. I will enter Young modulus of aluminum equal to 70,000 megapascal. The Poisson ratio of aluminum is equal to 0.33. OK. Click on seed part. Enter approximate global size equal to 10 millimeters. Click on mesh part and yes. I'll click on seed part once again. Enter approximate global size equal to 10 millimeters. OK, then I will click on mesh part and yes. In the next step, I click on assign element type. Select link CD. Done. As you observe, the element family has been put on BIM. Here, you can observe the deformation of the model.
Here, first we intend to solve this problem using the analytical solution. This problem has been solved in mechanics of material book, and you can observe the process of solving here. First, a free diagram has been drawn for bar BDE and by writing moment about point B, the force of F C D will be will be obtained. And by writing moment about point D, force of A B will be obtained. In the next step, having obtained the F CD and FAB forces, the deflection of link AB and link CD has been calculated. Here first, the deflection of point B has been calculated and that is actually the change in length of link AB. And as you observe in the picture, link AB undergoes a compressive load and actually FAB is applied to the link AB as compressive force. Here P is FAB, that is equal to 60,000 Newton. L is the length of link AB, that is equal to 0 0.3 meters. A is the cross section of link AB, E is the Young modulus of link AB, and is equal to 70 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 Pascal. Eventually, the deflection of point B will be resulted as 0 0.514 millimeters. In the step after that, the deflection of point D has been calculated. And here P is force having been applied to link CD that is in tensile form. L is the length of link CD and A is a cross section of link CD as well as E is Young modulus. Finally, deflection of point, C, point D is equal to 0 0.3 millimeters. In the last step, deflection of point E has been calculated that is equal to 1. 928 millimeters. Now we intend to calculate the deflection of points of B, D, and E using the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here I will select point B and click on save as. The deflection of point B obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 0 0.5147 mm and that obtained from the analytical solution is equal to 0 0.514 mm. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are so close to those gained from the analytical solution. I will click on Create XY Data again, select ODB History Output and continue. I will select Point D and click on Save As. The deflection of point D having been obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 0 0.3 mm. And the deflection gained from the analytical solution is equal to 0 0.3 mm as well. As you observe, the results obtained from the analytical 
from the Abacus software are quite concordant with those of the analytical solution. Also, as the analytical solution results indicate, the deflection of the point is downwards, and in the Abacus software, the deflection is downwards, and the negative sign indicates that the deflection is downwards. I will click on Create XY Data once again. Select ODB History Output and continue. And this time, Point E will be selected and we will click on Save As. The deflection of Point E obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 1.94 millimeters. And the deflection having been obtained from the analytical solution is equal to 1.928 millimeters. And here also, the results obtained from the Abacus software are so close to those of the analytical solution. In fact, we calculated the deflection of three points of B, D, and E using the Abacus as well as the analytical solution and then compared the results of the Abacus software with those of analytical solution and concluded that the results obtained from the Abacus software are so close to those of the analytical solution. We want to compare the deformation having been obtained from the Abacus software with those of analytical solution. In this picture, having been marked out with blue color deformation of the model has been drawn using the analytical solution. As you observe, the deformation by the Abacus software is concordant with that of the analytical solution. Actually, displacement of point B is upwards. Displacement of D is downwards. These are what's having been resulted from the analytical solution as well as the abacus software.